Hey everybody, this is Brandon Bias from Checkit.com, and welcome to another exciting Photoshop beginner's tutorial. Today, you guys are going to be learning a lot. You guys are going to be learning about layers, about basic tools, about shortcuts, and many things. And we're going to be having fun doing that because we're going to do it all by making a stick figure. That's right, we're making a stick figure today, guys. So we'll go ahead, open up Photoshop. All right, and here we go. We've got our default workspace. If you do not have your default workspace and you want to work along with me, just go up here, click the down arrow, and make sure you click Essentials. And I noticed that down here in the corner, these are not the default colors. So if I hit the letter D, that will change that back to black and white. And I think we're ready to start. So first thing we want to do, hit File New or control N for those of you that like shortcuts and we're gonna leave the name the same but our width we're gonna make 720 our height 480 our resolution is gonna be 72 and make sure this is all in pixels we do not want this to be in something like inches because that will be freaking enormous and our background is gonna be white so with that we're gonna hit OK and we got our document here and the first thing we want to do when we're making our stick figure is give them a head right so we're gonna start off and make a new layer right here with this create a new layer button down in the bottom right hand corner and we're gonna change the name of layer one by double clicking where it says layer one and we're gonna call it head who knew and if we go off to the left here where all of our tools are we're gonna click and hold and we're gonna choose our rectangular marque tool or the letter M now we're gonna go ahead and click and drag and I think that'll be good enough for our head and put it down here ish and we wanna fill this with our foreground color which is black so to do that you just hit alt backspace and it fills it up with black for you and we want to get rid of this selection so to do that you can either just click on it or you can deselect it with control D and here we go we've just got our box for a head and the next thing we want to do is go ahead and give him some eyes so we're gonna go down here make a new layer again I'm gonna call it eyes and gonna go up back to this tool but instead of rectangular marque we're gonna use elliptical marque and we're gonna click on our foreground color so we can change it and we're gonna make it a bluish kinda color hit OK and we're gonna click and drag so we have a circle we're gonna hold shift so that it stays nice and even we don't want it to be an oval and I think that's a good size right there but it's kind of off that's a little too far off to the left right so I'm gonna click and drag it and hold shift so that it doesn't move up or up or down at all and we're gonna put it right about there I'd say so once again we're gonna fill it with our foreground color with alt backspace and we're gonna click on it to deselect and there we go we've got one of our dreamy blue eyes for our stick guy now of course it's kind of common to have two eyes instead of one but the thing is I don't want to end up making a second eye that's not the same dimensions and color and all that as this one so what we're gonna wanna do is duplicate it and there's three ways to do that one way is to take your eyes layer and drag it all the way down on top of that create a new layer button that we used earlier and let go and there you go you have eyes copy and the way we know that's actually there is by hitting V to go to our move tool and we kind of drag it off to the side here and there you go you got our second eye but that's only one way of doing it what, another way you can do it just kind of take this layer drag it down to your trash can and delete it the next way to do it is to make sure this layer is selected and hit control J that is your duplicate command and again you can drag it off to the side and there you go that's your second eye. Trash it again. The other way to duplicate it 
is to have your move tool selected, hold alt and drag it, hold shift so it doesn't go off. And there you go. It duplicates it that way for you as well. There you go. You have three ways to duplicate something. Good job. So now that we're done with our eyes, I want to give him a smiley face. So we're going to, once again, make another new layer and call it Smile. And to make the smile, we're going to go ahead and use our lasso tool right here underneath our marquee tool that we used earlier. And let's see. I do not want him to have a blue smile. Instead, I want him to have kind of a reddish pinkish one. So I'm going to click on our background color and we're going to make it that color that we want. There we go. Now our background color was changed to that pinkish red color. And we're going to go ahead and make a smile. I'm going to let go. And now I'll make a line across to the other side where I started. And that actually looks pretty good to me. And when I'm making a, a smile, I kind of want the edges to be feathered a little bit. In other words, I want them to fade off to the sides. So you want to go up here and make sure your feather is set to 5 pixels. Normally it's 0, but now you want it set to 5. And with that, you want to go ahead and fill this up with your background color instead of your foreground by hitting Control Backspace and then you can click on it to deselect and there you go you've got a cheesy little smile thing so our stick figure needs a body right and to make the body we're actually gonna duplicate his head and transform it so that it's skinny for his body so we're gonna go to our head hit control J and duplicate it hit V to go back to your move tool and click and drag down and if you accidentally go off to the side then you just hold shift and that keeps it perfectly aligned and if you get it close enough it will automatically snap to the bottom of that other box that we have before so we want this body to be skinny right and before I forget we want to name this body oops, body and to do that we're gonna hit control T which gives you the transform tool and you'll get this box around the box you already created no pun intended and you are just gonna grab onto the side and drag it in and if you hold the alt button it'll kind of squeeze in on itself like that and we want it yay big that's good enough for me so if you hit enter it'll close out the transform tool and there we go we got our body and it looks pretty dang good if you ask me now, if I were to try and make legs for our stick figure, they would be a little bit too long and they would go off the page. So if we want to move this guy up, we're going to go ahead and click the head layer, hold shift, and click the smile layer, and that will highlight all of these layers that we have here. So now we can move them up, again holding shift so that they don't stray, let go. And there you go. Now we have enough room for our legs.